This is going to be a quick tutorial on how to use height transfer on the uh, PLC 300, which is uh, the Hilti tablet for the PLT 300. Height transfer is probably one of the most common applications used to find uh, to make sure an area is level, to make sure that it's at the height you want it to be. It's very convenient. Height transfer is pretty simple. You just open up the job that you're in, and most people what they do is they go to this cut and fill option. All that means is that you measure one point and then you go to your second point, it's going to tell you how far up or down you are from that first point. So I'll just go ahead and click this measure button here. And automatically you'll notice that it, I'm going to say check, that's where I want it to be. Uh, you're going to notice that it's going to start, just automatically start reading where I am. So I'm at zero feet right now. If I move to this point down here, I'm now at, uh, you know, two inches below where I was. And I can just keep moving all over the all around the places that I want so it's it's extremely convenient just to quickly get your read your level your level reads now let's say that uh, I'm at this spot I was able to measure this spot but I know that uh, uh, my offset let's say the offset of where I know I'm supposed to be is five feet I can always just measure a benchmark uh, tell it the offset and automatically it will give you the quick offset so that's also nice if you if for whatever reason you your benchmark you know is exactly three feet beneath um, a specific a specific elevation you can go ahead and label it in there and right there you're starting to you're starting to um, figure out your your height transfers so it's a very convenient very easy application recommended for uh, you know it's 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 easier than a rotator uh, you're just walking around with the prism now I was going to show you this you can also select single slope option to set it up and what this is you measure a specific point I'll just measure this one here I press check and then I go to a second point and the second point is going to be a specific slope away from that one. I'm going to press measure point two. I'm going to make sure that everything in there is locked in the way I need it to be. I'm going to say enter and now it gives me a different kind of a grid and it tells me it tells me my height in relation to that slope. So if I'm up here, it's like a line. It gives me a line. I'm 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 basically right on the slope. It's telling me uh, if I come down here, I'm basically right on the slope again. I'm just going up and down from where I where I where I made my slope. So of course I am. But if I come over here, I'm on a parking lot. So if I come over here, most likely I'm going to be off the slope a little bit. So I'm a little bit below uh, below the slope. So. Again, if you're looking for level, just use cut and fill. If you're going to be maybe on a uh, on a ramp or something, you might you probably want to choose the uh, the single slope option, which will give you the uh, how how far how how far off you are of your the slope you need to be on. Really, really convenient.